The valence shell electron pair repulsion model is also referred to as VESPER and was introduced in an earlier video. Recall that this model states that the structure around a given atom is mainly determined by minimizing electron pair repulsions. There is a special exception for molecules with double or triple bonds between atoms. Here is the Lewis structure for formaldehyde, which we drew in an earlier video. I'll remove the lone pairs of electrons from the oxygen atom so we can have a less crowded view. And let's focus on the central atom, carbon, which is highlighted here. Carbon has three atoms around it. Each is bound by covalent bonds, or a shared pair of electrons. But notice the bonding between the carbon and oxygen atoms. These atoms are bound with two pairs of electrons, or a double bond. These electrons are fixed between both atoms. They will not repel. For geometry purposes, simply ignore the extra bonds. Here, we count three electron pairs and an electron pair geometry of trigonal planar with bond angles of 120 degrees. Let's close with hydrogen cyanide and carbon dioxide. In general chemistry, these are two classic examples of a linear electron pair geometry. Here, each central carbon atom is bound to two atoms, hydrogen and nitrogen in hydrogen cyanide, and two oxygen atoms for carbon dioxide. Again, I have removed the lone pairs of electrons around the nitrogen and oxygen atoms so we can have less crowding in our images. Again, for geometry purposes, simply ignore the extra bonds and there will be only two effective pairs of electrons. Here, two electron pairs gives an electron pair geometry of linear with a bond angle of 180 degrees.